good morning beautiful people of the world good morning how are you on this grand rising morning it is thursday october 31st 2024 of course you know i'm rushing i'm rushing i'm running late not late late but i should have been gone like at six but here we are how y'all doing this morning? It is Halloween. Happy Halloween. If you are a Halloween celebrator. I don't really celebrate Halloween. Um, I do like the different costumes, though. I like to see people when they get dressed up and they put on the different costumes. I'm not for the uh, spooky stuff. I ain't for that. I don't like all the spooky stuff, but... I like when they dress up in different characters. That's cute to me. But I don't like the scary stuff. I hope y'all are doing well. Hope you're doing swell. I hope that you've had a good week thus far. We are into Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. This week flew by. Blue back. And I'm glad. Yes, I'm glad. I'm real glad. I'm exceptionally glad that we are almost at Friday. Whew. I can't stress it enough. We almost, almost, almost at Friday. And of course, you know, got these people that's dragging this morning that don't want to drive. It's not even raining anymore, so I don't understand. Always feel like I'm just rushing, 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 rushing. You know what I'm saying? I always feel like that. I always feel like I'm rushing. But <clears throat> we are here, we are here. just so much going on too much going on too much going on but nevertheless <clears throat> we made it another day got by God's grace and mercy thank God I'm so glad to be in the land of the living Freaking kidding me. 
And yes, I am angel uh, to your, I read your response. Yes, I am. How you doing? All right, I, I had to take Stoney with <laughs> I know. <laughs> they getting ready to raise the taxes you know and I'm like I'm telling y'all I'm so I'm just my girlfriend who just just bought a house who used my realtor my realtor my lawyer my inspection well not mine but the ones I use through the realtor she just bought a house <laughs> so when I put that video up on Facebook yesterday she wrote, you got to be kidding. I guess she hadn't seen it. I was like, no, I'm not. <sighs> Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. This coworker, man, I don't know how many cars Ed got. He got to have about five or six cars. He always in a different car every day. And, and this is something that he ran on. He ran on that he would not raise taxes, and he did. And now he's talking. That's now he's saying that that's what he he's going to do. And I'm just like, you got to be freaking kidding me. it will be and they say that he's doing this because he's trying not to lay off you know city workers you know the firemen the police and stuff like that I get it I understand it I get it I, I get it I got it I understand <sighs> he's talking about raising we pay for garbage here in the city we're gonna have to pay for that
money is allocated. And I do understand it and I do get that. But all the even I'm like, where where does the money go for all the events that we have? You know, we got the taste of Chicago, we had the NASCAR, which you know, they paid big money, millions to come. I just I, I don't I don't know. Maybe I need to sit down and talk to the mayor and say, show me. Because I don't understand. Because it's always we always Always in debt. Always. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Well, one thing, I'm hungry. I am hungry. Ain't nobody out here.
you have to be careful when you're taking um, these weight loss drugs. Weight loss drugs don't work for everybody. You know, there's side effects to everything. You have to be really, really, really sure about what it is that you're taking. Because although you might want to lose weight, that might not be the best way for you to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? And she's been taking this weight loss drug. It ain't, it, she's having too many side effects of seeing me, so maybe you need to not um, come off of it. Try something else. She not fat. Next week, I'm going to try to be, I'm going to try to leave out next week earlier. I'm going to try. <laughs> this guy, now these two lanes turn this right way, right? He gets in these lanes and then decides he's gonna turn this way. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 
talking about. Because that ain't what I'm talking about, dating people on your job. But then when the shit don't, something happen between y'all, then they want to treat you funny, see? And I ain't, I ain't got time for that. I, I just don't. I ain't got time for that. Time for that. And that's why I be trying real hard not to like nobody that I work with because I've been through that already and I know how that shit go. And mm -mm. Mm -mm. this person behind me has on no lights. you know he, I saw him the other day and he spoke because first he was acting kind of funny because he was like why you ain't called me I was thinking like uh, I ain't called you because I'm not interested and maybe I would have been in, more interested if he was more my type Really, 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 really is not my type. But then, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'll just be his friend. You know, like co work friend got his number. But then I was like, don't do that either. It's like keep it business. Keep it, keep it, hey, good morning, how you doing? I, I just, you know, my trust level for people. It's just really, really low. I just don't trust people. I really don't. I just don't trust people. And I don't trust people because people be like, like, it's like people act like they for you and they ain't. You know what I'm saying? They really don't be for you. They be trying to act like they are, but they ain't. They just act like they are. And people, they, they stab me in your back too quickly. And see, I'd have to cut a motherfucker if you trying to hurt me and this is my bread and butter and this is how and this is how I survive to feed my kid. I'd have to cut you. Straight, straight up, real talk. So my thing is, don't even go there with nobody. Don't go there, don't get involved. Just leave people alone. You know what I mean? I swear I would have to cut somebody. be trying real real hard not to get involved with nobody that I work with 
Cause I ain't, I'm not finna duck and dodge nobody. And he does not. it becomes too it just becomes too hard you know what i'm saying and y'all mad at each other yeah i got the big mirror i can't find my other mirror and y'all mad at each other and you gotta come and see them every day it's too it feels too hard i do i do better keeping men as friends and from a distance It's better that way. You ain't gotta worry about your feelings getting hurt. They will hurt your feelings. And I don't need to come nowhere every day where I got to be uncomfortable. I've been there, done that already. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to repeat that. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I'll pass. I'll pass. I don't want that heat. I don't want that static. Like just like the mailman, he still ain't speaking. See what I'm saying? I should have just kept that same thing. That was a dumb, dumb mistake. So I learned. So now with this guy here at work, hey, how you doing? There's a lot of them here that like me, and I'm not bragging. Cause you know I work with all men, so this is what what I'm around. But uh uh. This mirror still ain't that great. I need that other mirror. I can see a little better. better just to speak to these people and keep it moving. It's safer that way. up in a parking lot and their music is blasting this early in the morning
is weird to me. putting on my mascara. I need a mirror because I can't see in the other one. I wanted to show y'all some stuff that I got from um, that I got from uh, Ross yesterday. It's not been nothing major. Turn that music down. It's just like it's another guy. He walks through the plant, through the work area, with his speaker on his head, blasting his music. Like, don't you realize you're at work? You're not in your personal car. Or you're not at home. People do some weird shit. Very weird. Yeah, I'm going to show you all this stuff I got from uh, Ross yesterday. <sighs> I need a vacation. We have next Monday off. Veterans Day. I can't wait. Chris gets out today. They get letting them out early today for Halloween. Wow. They're not in grammar school. He gets out early today, and he told me it's no school Monday or Tuesday. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, let me go punch in and I'll be back.
I'm back. Other thing I wanted to ask y'all was what is you guys gas like? Now, if you go to Indiana to get gas, it's cheaper here in Chicago. You go anywhere else, it's really expensive, like $5. But if you go here in Indiana, in Chicago, it's like $2. $2.48. Trying to put less and less blush on. Supposed to rain all day today, but it ain't raining now. So this is what I got yesterday from y'all. I brought this Wow Brow right here. So you take the little pomade right here. A little brush Let's see if I can open this. they give you an eyebrow pencil and all the different color pomades that you want to put over your eyebrows so this is a little brush and this right here this is like a I thought it was a stencil you know that you put over to help you draw it but it's not what that does is it's a little um, a little wax if you want to wax your eyebrows. So I said I was going to try one of these this morning over the brow. I'll do it with the mirror. I want to see what this was going to look like. see the difference? I don't see the difference. Maybe I need a little bit more. Put it over here on this one. Yeah, but it's supposed to give it like a little, you know, a little more tint. I can see a, a little bit, a little difference. Yeah, yeah, I see it. So I picked this up. So it gives you, like I said, you get the different colors. You can go, uh, this is a um, highlighter. You can highlight the brows. This is light, medium, the color that I did, and dark, if you want your eyebrows to look really dark. And I think it was, this was real cheap. But I like to put the uh, different pomades on my eyebrows. And this was $3.99. So I picked that up, and then I did pick up some um, I picked up some cashews. They were really good. They were what are they? Ross have good candy. They were two two ninety nine for three dollars. I picked up some eyelashes like that, and um.
they look like. You don't want to spend a lot of money on eyelashes. Go to Ross. Go to Ross. These were $2.99. Those. And I picked up some more. Oh, here we go. I picked up some whiskeys by Ardell. Oops, I just tore off the pack. I think they were seven. These. I like these because the band is real, real thin and they're easier to lay on your on your eyelids. So now the start of the show. Yeah, it was just little stuff I picked up yesterday, one month. I bought me a Michael Kors bracelet. <clears throat> I bought my mother one for her birthday last year. This is what it looks like. This is a nice gift to give somebody for Christmas or birthday. This bracelet was $36.99. I like the fact that it has the chain link. <clears throat> and then and then you know, conversation with him too. And then you take it right here and you put it through the little toggle. Well, that's how, yeah, and it go like that. And it's a Michael Kors and it was $36.99. I don't know what the compare value is. They don't have a compare value. But isn't she cute? And like I said, I bought my mom one last year for her birthday uh, from TJ Maxx. So I was like, when I saw it in Ross, I was like, I'm gonna get me this bracelet. Cause I had been wanting it. I'm not really sure about this toggle though. Oh no. I tried to put it on yesterday. It wasn't working. I'm gonna have to have somebody put it on me. I couldn't get it on yesterday. And I don't, the only thing I don't like about this bracelet is that it does have this toggle. Um, and I'm, I'm afraid that it'll slip out of here. But if you are a person yeah I can't get it on here if you are a person who like jewelry and you don't want to spend a lot of money on jewelry go to TJ Maxx and Ross Marshalls don't have a jewelry counter like um, TJ Maxx and um, like TJ Maxx does easiest thing to get on. It ain't going through the top. I'm gonna have to have somebody put it on. But this had a look on the wrist. I like it. I like anything by Michael Kors. They had a Michael Kors bag 
that I want in there. Hint, hint, if somebody, anybody looking, listen. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, they, but they did have a Michael Kors bag that I really, really liked. It was brown. It was really cute. I think it was like $100. But it, this is my opinion, and, and I could be wrong. But you all know that I shop in a lot of retail stores. And for, to, for me, I feel that... Um, I feel that... Uh, Ross have the better deal as far as the purses are concerned. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's just that's just what I think. But they also had a Michael Kors ring. Had a Michael Kors ring and um they had some few other bracelets in there too. So again, if this is something that you all you looking for Christmas presents, Ross, Ross, I'm telling you, and get it now because you ain't gonna be able to find it as we get further, further into Christmas. You ain't gonna be able to find it. So um, I'm gonna do my Christmas shopping. I'm not doing a lot. I'm only gonna buy some for my mom, my sister Timothy, my sister's son, her daughter, and Christopher, and my brother-in-law, and that's it. And probably my friend. We we haven't really discussed uh, Christmas because you know we just kind of like coming back together talking. So I don't know what he, what if he wants anything for Christmas. We we ain't said nothing. Um, last year, he bought me a beautiful Pandora necklace and earring set. And I bought him the, um, the, whatever, the, uh, drill gun. But we in a different place now, so I, I, I I'm not gonna, if he don't mention it, I ain't gonna mention it, because we truly are just friends. Uh, ain't no nothing else happening between us, so that's what we. Well, that's what we are. She picked my hair back up, but uh, this ponytail back up. But I had to take them hair pins out. It was giving me a headache. But anyway, you all, it's seven o'clock on the dot. I hope y'all had uh, a good day yesterday. I hope you have a better day today. And I'll be back on here tomorrow to talk to you. All right, it's Friday. It's Friday, baby. All right, y'all, have a good day.